Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. President, you preside over one of the largest cabinets in the world and one of the most bloated and expensive. And Mr. President, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but not all of the people all of the time. And is it the reality, Mr. President, that sitting on your desk since 2019, there's a report from the Public Service Administration, which has done all this work that you said still needs to be done, has done all the studies, and it was completed way back in 2019, and they recommend cut the size of the cabinet, reduce the number of government departments, but that's been gathering dust on your desk since 2019. Mr. President, given the fact that we've got all these ministers living like rock stars, 97 mansions worth over a billion rand, free generators, free electricity, luxury vehicles, and sadly, they're not Fortunas, they are luxury, high-end luxury vehicles. Do you think it's fair that South Africans who are suffering under this cost of living crisis should exist with these ministers living like rock stars while they're suffering? And Mr. President, are you in receipt of this, of this report from the Department of Public Service Administration? If so, why have you done nothing about it since 2019? And thank you, Honorable Member. The Honourable, the President. Well, I don't know uh, about rock stars. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know about rock stars. Um, Honourable members, please. The, the, the report, the report from the public service has dealt with the issues of yes reconfiguration but also from the point of view of how some of the departments can be brought together and merged now for the departments to be merged we have found as we did in 2019 by the way also inspired by the work of that uh, report we found that it takes quite a while because all of a sudden you'll find that you've got, you're merging two departments, you've got two DGs. And in some of them, you've got a number of DDGs. And as you bring the functions together, <laughs> that tends to take yeah. more time, a great deal of time. And part of the work that was done to reduce from 34 to 28 was inspired by the work that was done. So that was inspired then. But then we said, we are going to do more further reconfiguration. And this is precisely what we are on the way to having done. Now, for this year and for the 15 months that we have, We've added two ministries. As I said, electricity, which is an existential challenge and problem right now for all of us as South Africans. Two, implementation process to make sure that everything is properly and well implemented. So, and I can understand on your side, you say, it's bloated. By no means, we are not the most, we are not the biggest cabinet in the world. We are not by any means. And I, I have looked at a number of cabinets around the world. I, I have looked at them and Order. I found that we are basically Order. in line, basically in line with many others, having come from 28 ministers. 28 ministers to 30, admittedly, which I have stated very clearly the reason for that. And I've also said it is a time bound increase and we are going to revert back to much less than the 28 because we are dealing with challenges right now. And I know obviously on the opposition side, there's no real uh, uh, understanding for starters, and <laughs> no understanding and, and no agreement. And uh, I think that's where we part ways. And we must accept that there we part ways because uh, we have a particular focus. And uh, because the focus 
is to address electricity challenge right now. Uh, we have decided to do it in the way that we are doing right now. But as regards reconfiguration, I can tell you now that I am focused on it. And my focus started in 2019 when I reduced the ministries from 34 to 28. Now, yes, there are 30 and they are going to go further down. Watch this space. Thank you very much.